as far away fast. from the clubhouse as you can I mean, get. So we, we're all we're walking in. But, play fast. Play fast. Yeah. We are deep in the forest now. Bandon Trails is a different kind of feel from the rest of Bandon, and it's a refreshing change of pace. I'm coming off an awful double on nine, but still a solid two over on the front side. Swing is good, target selection, that could have been better. The tenth hole at Trails is a shorter par four. There's a bunker all the way down the left, so favoring the right hand side just a bit with the tangent AI caddy. A good swing there, and we're off. Chance to put up a low one. But there's some rumbling in the distance, and a storm is brewing. It's getting a little cooler. It is. You got the 52? I got the 52. Yep. I think it's just a smooth one. Yep. Knock it tight, dude. Get that one back. Let's do it. Be good. I stuff it with a wedge and a good chance to bounce back from the double on the ninth. Make a putt. Nice out, Miller. Yeah. Good shot. Do it. Snuggle. Woo! Nice Atta boy. Miller found the greenside bunker and hits a special one. He made that look easier than it was. Even with trails being more parkland, you can still putt from just about anywhere, and Sean is sticking to that strategy. Andy. Carlos, on the other hand, has found the bush. It's a tough shot, a tough lie, and he did pretty well to get it out. Trapped myself Settle. from a sand trap today. So Settle. I fell down in a sand trap today. Strategic bags. <gasps> right through the middle. <laughs> a little up hill pace. Yeah, I don't think you need to give it away. Just give me a nice, nice putt right there. Confident stroke. All right, birdie putt. Six feet. Not a lot in it. And that just creeps over the edge. But it's a birdie. Like and subscribe. Got one nice on bird. the board. Needed that. Good bounce back. Carlos cleans up his mess. I gain another couple strokes on him in the match. And Sean just can't quite finish off his par. And if you want to try get to get it. Trouble. Yeah, yeah, because everything kicks toward. If you go online with that kind of dead tree to the right. Yeah. The 11th hole has been one where I just haven't quite figured out the tee shot. A dogleg right, but you just can't see enough of the golf course over there, and the two times I've played it, I've pulled it. And it's a long hole from over there. So I've found the left rough, a long shot back into the wind with death to the right. Whoa! Good shot, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Thin high. Hey, bad. Like eight feet. That's probably the best <laughs> four hybrid I've hit. Ridiculous shot there. This is one of the few holes with just a standard water hazard that isn't the ocean on the property, and it's about this time that it really sets in as a serene force setting to me. This is probably the best hole at Trails, in my opinion. Let me know in the comments if you agree. Wow. Sean with that trusty hybrid putt. And that's a shot that I just don't have in my bag. Miller with a good look for par. Hit it. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. And that's a good bogey on a tough hole. Got it. Hit it. Flat. Carlos stuffed it just like me, so it's a battle of birdie putts in our match. Put it on the right edge and firm. Firm baby. He said firm. And his comes up short. But with a pop, I have to make mine to push the hole. Damn it. You got it. No, no, you got no, it. No, Stroke no, it. No, that just got I just got it. <laughs> Fuck off, hey. Dallas! There you go. <laughs> Your voodoo ain't working. And just like that, I'm back to even. The golf is good. Dude, what, what, was, what was his lie like over there? You know what? It was, it was good. It was perfect. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think so. 
a little bit of helping room. The 12th hole is one of the few really long par threes on the property. Over 200 yards, even from the green tees. Plenty of room right, but for some reason, it just doesn't fit my eye. Ooh. Good job. And I'm happy to be dancing. Anything on the green on a 230 yard par three is. Oh my god. A couple of tired swings from Carlos. Get over the bunker. Oh. oh. And Sean. If you're going out to Bandon, you might want to train for 36 holes of walking and golfing. It can be a grind. Miller with putter from off the green. These guys are so good at that shot. That's a pretty good effort. I, on the other hand, have 70 feet from on the green, which I'm not good at. But that's a good one. Nice. Right. Sean gets a little frisky with that one. Yeah, I was getting ready to call you Todd Hamilton. But, uh, <laughs> threw that out there. The open champions out here. Oh, a little more faith. Carlos can't make his par, and I've got a chance to take another shot in our match for a beverage. After Sean misses, Miller can take one in his match with Sean. And he does. The 13th hole turns and goes back down the hill off the tee and up the hill for the second shot. A sneaky little par four and another where the tee shot doesn't fit my eye as well as it could. Bill, did you make that par? But I hit a solid one. It's such a great walk at trails. I think it's a big 52. I got the 48, but. I was feeling 52. Okay, let's hit a full one. A little bit left of it. I was between clubs here. Matt wanted me to hit the longer one back into the wind, but I was feeling the 52, so I decided to step on it. And step on it I did. Got it all the way to the back of the green, leaving a long downhill putt. It's about this time that we were really hearing rumbling. I was convinced it was lightning, but both caddies said they'd never seen a lightning storm abandoned, so we played on. I think just a soft hundred. I don't think I'd play this down. Maybe 95. Long, tough putt that just feels like it's more downhill than it is. Matt begged me to hit it harder, and I couldn't do it. That's pretty good. Nice putt. Good putt, Sean. That's good. Oh boy, good pace. Good. That's not easy to do there. Mm. Tricky Trip putt. Off. Carlos has a chance to get a couple back on me if I miss mine. Oh man, good putt. He manages par, and I have a good 10 to 12 feet to match him. I want to go left still. Is this 13? Cup? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's cupping up? No, I think it is. Yeah. Yep, yeah, good with that. A little up still. Yep. Straight back, straight through, man. Break a heart. Pulled it. Started, man. I pulled it. But I can't. The 14th hole takes you to the plaque where Mike Kaiser committed to this property for Bandon. Trails is the only course with consistent elevation change, and this short par four is way down the hill and would be reachable if it weren't straight into the wind on this day. It's protected by just a diabolical green, which makes you want to hug the left. But not that far left. That's trouble. Missed the bunker and it will bound down the fairway, but I didn't miss the bunker. Yeah, it might have gone in the first bunker. Sean's 
Sean hits a good one. Good strike. Come on down. These don't look like Texas storm clouds, so it's hard to feel real threatened. But you can hear the rumbling if you listen close. You can it's run it down there beauty. pretty good. Woo! It's pretty gnarly, huh? Yeah, there's no beauty here. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> Man! Trying to find the bright side, it ain't there. Alright, I'm not quite as plugged as Sean's from the last video, but that's still dead. You know, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Almost embedded. It is really hard with the pitching wedge. It's gonna just trundle down yeah. there, maybe. You know, try to trundle go out towards the, flag the front and catch this down that. slope. And maybe, you know. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. I'm guessing Jay's not gonna tell me inside five feet. All right, we'll hit it again. I just took a full swing. And the ball went 10 feet. Into it. And you gotta carry it 60 or you're in trouble. Mm hmm. But yeah, I just think think 65. Okay. <laughs> There's not a lot of room up there either, is there? Uh, no, not really. Just gotta hit a good shot. Just a shot, buddy. You got it. And this shot didn't get any easier. It's an elevated, narrow, tough green, and I just compound the mistake with a chunk. Yeah, Look, on. golf. I let one bad tee shot turn into a second poor shot. Sean with a good lag, and now you can really hear the thunder. It's coming. Not bad man. And I've just lost concentration on this hole. That's a poor putt on top of the others. This green is really tough, and now I have five feet for double. Could let Carlos right back in the match. Yeah, right, right of center. Right of center, yeah. I see right of center. Yeah. <coughs> hey, I, I, I think, no, I think it's going that way. Sorry, right there. I think it's going to try to go right. It's a big putt. <laughs> Easy double. Man, what a lie. Playing well other than those doubles. Gotta knock that off. Alright, I'm two over par with two doubles. Mostly great golf. <laughs> no, dude. I'm not. I mean, where the hell are we gonna go? <laughs> we're as far Play away fast. from the clubhouse as you can I mean, get. So we, we're all we're walking in. But... Play fast. Play fast. Yeah. Fast. We're behind anyway. We got room. By the time we get to the 15th tee, we are seeing lightning jump from cloud to cloud, and Matt finally has to admit I was right. We're in a lightning storm. We are nowhere near the clubhouse and have no real way to get off the course. We start to get nervous, so we're going to start moving. I hit a cranked driver into the fairway, and now we're playing out a turn. We're trying to get ahead and out of the storm. Right out. That is a serious golf shot, dude. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. I have just 50 yards or so to this pin. And that was a mediocre wedge. Not spending much time looking at shots at this point. We're just hoping to finish. The rumbling is over top of us now, despite the lightning seemingly staying cloud to cloud in the distance. Oh, don't go over there. 
There is no escaping it. Miller hitting his putt up there close as the thunder is almost continuous now. Easy par. It's hard to walk away from a round where you're playing well, and it's almost feeling like Caddyshack now. Let's get out of here before the bad stuff comes. Carlos with the par to avoid losing any more, and we start the final stretch back to the clubhouse. These are three holes that I haven't played, as the last time I was abandoned two years ago, we ran into darkness around this point in the round. The 16th is a par 5, up the hill back towards the clubhouse, and I absolutely crushed this golf ball. We didn't catch it on camera, but while Sean was hitting his tee shot on this hole, a lightning bolt shot through the clouds directly over our heads. Scary close. We were all kind of nervous, but trying to justify not stopping the round. We hadn't seen anything touch the ground. We had to walk in anyway. There was nowhere to hide. We hadn't heard a siren. They do have sirens, and we hadn't heard one, so surely it's safe. Well, they had sounded the siren, but we just couldn't hear it. The staff finally came up and told us that it was time to get off the golf course. Play. 196? Are you yeah. Hybrid? Yeah, I think so. Up the hill, 225 back edge. All right. At this point, I was up by the green, and after a good sand shot, I made a five footer for birdie. I was frustrated I wouldn't get to see the last two holes of trails again, but you gotta do what's safe. I get told all the time that trails is the best abandoned, and I can see why. What are they gonna do? Just shut up the bottom of the hill. But I personally haven't seen it at its oh, best. I haven't seen all the holes even. We packed up in the shuttle and headed in as the lightning storm really picked up. Weather is part of any golf trip, and while it's a bummer, this could have turned into a snuff film. It's definitely not worth it to risk it. Just gives me motivation for another trip to Bandon, and that ain't all bad. It'd mean a lot if you could smash that like and subscribe. Give me some help getting back to play those last two holes at Trails, and we'll see you next time on The Good Miss. Yeah.